Hello everyone. Welcome to Python Tutorials. Myself, Sampreet Patel, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, Walchand Institute of Technology, Sholapur. Today, we are going to see about classes and object in Python, that is, the concepts of object-oriented programming language. At the end of this video, you will be able to write a Python script in an object-oriented programming style. So before we go to the coding part, let's just see what are classes. So we have already discussed in the previous video the basics of what are classes. So class, a class is a virtual entity that can be seen as a blueprint or a prototype of an object. The class came into existence or comes into existence when it is instantiated. So let's see a simple example. Suppose a class is a prototype of a building, a building containing all the details about floor, rooms, doors, windows, etc. We can make as many buildings as we want based on the details. Hence, the building can be seen as a class and we can create as many objects as we want of this particular class. So let's see the syntax of how to create a class in Python. Class is created by using a keyword class followed by class name, followed by class name and a colon. And in this, with an indentation, we'll have we'll have the block of code representing this particular class. Okay, so let's consider an example of an employee whose attributes are id and name that is employee id and employee name and with the help of a method display will display the name and the id of this employee so we'll create a class employee which will have two id uh, two attributes first is id say 101 and name a b c okay so now we need a method to display the details. So we'll create a function or a method display and we will print, we will print the ID and name. Okay. So see here we have used the keyword self, which is a reference variable, which refers to the current class object. So this self will always refer to this particular current class and it will access the attributes of that particular class. It is always the first argument of the function. It is always the first argument of the function definition. However, using self is optional in a function call. Okay, when you call a function, this uh, use of self keyword is optional. So the self parameter refers to the current instance of a class and accesses the class variables. We can use anything instead of self, but it must be the first parameter of any function which belongs to that particular class. So this is the way we have, we are creating a class in Python. So now what is an object? So creating a class is not enough to access the attributes and methods of this class. What we require is an object which helps us to access this class. So object is nothing but the instance of the class. The class needs to be instantiated if we want to use the class attributes in another class or a method. So a class can be instantiated by calling the class by using its class name. So let's see the syntax of creating an object. So to create an object, first we need to have the name of the object is equals to class name and uh, followed by round brackets. Okay, so these round brackets may have an attributes or arguments if the class is uh, needs to be passed. Okay, if the arguments are needed to be passed. So let's now create an object for the class we have created. Let's say the name of our object is EMP is equals to the name of the class employee followed by round brackets. Now the object to this class is created. Now we can access the method 
of this class that is display using the object so to access the method we have object name dot method name okay so once we have called this method with the help of this object let's see the run run the code and this will display the id and the name of our employee so pause the video and try to write a python script for the given problem statement here we have to take a class vehicle which has four attributes name kind of car color of the car and value we have to create two new cars car 1 and car 2 respectively where car 1 is a red convertible worth rupees 60 lakhs with the name bmw and car 2 is a blue suv named harrier worth rupees 20 lakhs so let's see a program so first we'll create a class class vehicle which will have four attributes first is name which will be a string value then we have the color of the car again it will be a string value then we have a kind of car so we will set this as a default value as a car and the value value is uh, a floating point number just will give a default value of 100 okay now we need a function to display this so we'll take a function description okay so here we'll take a object of a string so dsc that is description string is equals to in brackets we'll have percent s that is name of class car is a red convertible worth worth rupees uh floating point so that is percent point 2 f okay now we need to access this variables so to access we know self dot first is the name okay second is second is the color third is the kind of car and fourth is the value of the car the value of the car now we need to return this so let's return d e s c underscore string d e c s underscore string d e c s underscore string now we need to create an object of class car1 is equals to vehicle and with the help of this object we will assign the values to the attributes so car1 dot name is equals to bmw car1 dot color is red car1 dot kind is convertible and the value car1 dot value is equals to 60 lakhs okay creating a second object uh, for car2 is equals to vehicle okay so i'll just uh, copy this part and paste it i'll just change the name of the object to two and here the name of the car is harrier which is of blue color and it is a suv type now once we have given the values to the attribute what we need is to print the details so i'll say print accessing the method with an object description and similarly for the second vehicle car2 dot description okay so let's run this program and see so yes 
BMW is a red convertible worth 60 lakhs and Harrier is a blue convertible with okay the value should have been 20 lakhs so let's change that so this is the output for the given problem statement okay so moving forward moving forward let's see how to delete an object so when you don't want a particular object to uh, carry a storage space you can delete the object so we we'll see it in the previous example to delete the object we have a keyword del which will be followed by the object name okay so let's see let's see first we'll delete the attribute so i'll delete emp dot id okay and if i try to access now i'll delete the object itself delete emp so now if i try to access uh, the method using emp so if i run this if i run this you'll get an error attribute error that employee instance has no attribute id so it will stop here itself here itself as it will not find any id id when you execute the display method okay so i hope uh, this particular concept is clear i have reused this references to create this video programming in python 3 of uh, pearson publications and core python programming of dreamtech press thank you